today is the 18th of January 2018. I'm at the CMT Trade Fair. This is a bimobile HD 420, a very rugged 4x4 van with a magnificent panoramic window looking out and a huge amount of space in the double floor. Well, there's the double floor. I'm only putting these out first because it's sort of on the way into the van, but look at all the stuff you can get in there and look at that great view from up there. Now, this van costs about 156,000 euros, so it's not exactly cheap, and that depends on what options you take and what you have, have, have inside. Anyway, so if we go up here, I've been allowed to go in without the staff, so no problem there. Now this is a bit odd though, the, the beds in like this as though they are for children. Now it is a uh, top terrain vehicle so that seems somewhat unusual in here. Now on the left as we come up we have this, door opens in this direction and we can walk in like this. So you've got a big shower in there got a mirror, another mirror, window and toilet. So the wet room is pretty large. Turning around, let's come down here into the living area. Now I've got to say this is absolutely magnificent and uh, it's, it's great here looking at this in a trade fair but it'd be even better if we were in a situation that uh, we would be signed a lake or something of this nature. You've got down there the driving compartment, the cab, and in this over cab, well often people get rather hot and stuffy in over cabs, well you shouldn't do it here, there's really stacks of room up there, this won't feel like a coffin as some of the older versions may feel like. Not that I've actually been in the coffin, I'm just sort of guessing as far as that's concerned. Now, as far as the, ki as far as the kitchen's concerned, we've got a rather standard oven, big fridge, freezer, and all the rest of it. So here, you've got the kitchen, a domestic type sink. We've got three burners from Smurv. Which, incidentally, is the, seems to be the same as I have in my van. <laughs> and we've got all of these drawers down here, so you've got plenty of room. Now, there you go. Nice built-in place for your knives and forks. What this could be? Oh, some more cutlery there. Alright. Prep space here. Though I wouldn't prep here, because... Okay, unless we had an outstanding view out there, it wouldn't be necessary. I'd prep there and look out of the window. Now, uh, here we have huge amount of hanging space. Some was going about. And there you've got your electric fuse box and charger. See what's going on from the electrics up there. And we've also got a bit more storage here next to the kitchen. Now something like this doesn't come cheap but it's not really designed for running around on the European motorway system. It's something which is designed for use off-road Siberia Alaska, Iceland, some places in Africa, this sort of thing. And uh, you know, this, is a, this seems to me to be a great van for doing that type of thing. It seems as though the table comes in and out and also get, the table will go down to make extra uh, space for a bed should that be necessary. Got two belts there as well on that position, so it's four belted places. And I suppose you could get two people sleeping here, two there, and we've got two spaces in the back as well, so that's six. So there's uh, no shortage of sleeping 
um, quarters. Right, let's have a look at here, a quick look at some of the technical details. I don't know if you can see them or not. In fact, I'll just read them. You, you can admire the view out of the van. So it's 675 centimetres long, with this 238 only. So this is only 3 centimetres actually longer than my van. And the height is 322, so that's thanks to this big height that we've got managed to get so much in here. Now, the, it's on a 5 tonne basis, and in running order, we're looking at uh, under 4 tonnes. So that's with a uh, full tank of fuel, full tank of water. So it gives a payload of one ton. So uh, there's plenty of uh, stuff you can carry with you, as well as some particularly fat friends, if you've got any. <laughs> right, any fat ones, I'm not suggesting you mightn't have any non-fat ones. <laughs> right, what do you think? Pretty smart, eh? <coughs> ah. Maybe it could do with a bit more of skylight. Well, yeah, I mean, we've got this fan up there. But it would be nice to have a bit more on that front. But then again, you've got this huge window, as I mentioned several times. Okay, great van, I think. What do you think? Do you like it? And if you do, you may make some, want to see some of the other films I've got from here.